and welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to learn all about ladybugs, or ladybirds as they are sometimes called. Ladybugs are actually beetles, and there are over 5,000 different types of ladybugs. Most people think that the number of spots that you see on a ladybug can tell you how old it is, but the spots will actually tell you what kind of species the ladybug is. Ladybugs with 7 or 10 spots are the ones that we are most likely to see. Let's take a closer look at the ladybug's life cycle. Every ladybug will go through four stages in its life. Egg, larvae, pupae, and adult ladybug. Ladybugs go through a metamorphosis cycle, just like a caterpillar. They both start off as one type of animal, then they go inside a cocoon, where they come out looking like a very different type of animal. A female ladybug will lay her eggs on leaves all throughout the spring and summer. She will lay up to 30 eggs every time she does this, and she will lay lots and lots of eggs all throughout the spring and summer. By the time she has finished laying her eggs, she will have laid around 1,000 of them. That is a lot of baby ladybirds! She will try to lay her eggs next to some aphids, which are what ladybugs like to eat the most. But if she can't find a food source for her babies, she will lay some eggs that will not be able to turn into ladybugs, and the newly hatched babies will be able to eat these unfertilised eggs to get a nice nutritious meal. It can take a ladybug larva up to 10 days before it starts to come out from its egg, and when they do emerge, they look like a little mini alligator with their long bodies and bumpy skin. When they emerge, ladybug larvae are black with brightly coloured spots or bands. Ladybug larvae eat lots and lots and lots. In the two weeks that it will take them to become fully grown, ladybug larvae will eat 400 aphids. They also like to eat mites and insect eggs, including other ladybug eggs. The newly hatched ladybug larvae will eat until they grow too big for their soft shell, and then it will molt. Once it has molted, it will continue to eat until it is too big for that shell, and then it will molt again. Ladybugs usually do this about four times, and these eating and molting cycles are called instars. Once the ladybug is ready to move on to the pupate stage, it will attach itself to a leaf where it can change into its adult body. This is known as metamorphosis. At the pupal stage, the ladybug will stay on the leaf and not move for about 15 days. Its body is going through a massive transformation, slowly breaking down parts of itself to reshape them into the adult ladybug that we all know. When they come out of the pupate stage, they are now fully grown adult ladybugs. At first, their shells are very soft and orange. Their shells will harden over time and then slowly turn to the final colour of red, developing their spots at the same time. Adult ladybugs will still eat aphids and other soft insects, just like when they were larvae. And that's why gardeners love to find ladybugs in their garden helping to protect their plants from other insects. When the winter arrives, adult ladybugs will hibernate in large groups called aggregations. When the spring arrives, they will wake up again and the female ladybugs will start looking for somewhere to lay their eggs, starting the whole cycle off again. Why not go outside and see if you can spot some ladybugs in your garden? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!